<laughs> so ratchet. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. If only you guys could see the setup that we have as far as where the camera is, where the light is. We're currently in a hotel room in New York City. I'm with Calvin. Hello. Finally. Finally. I always say, you're like the trans guy version of me on YouTube. Wow. It's like, we're very similar in a lot of ways. I'm like you, but like Walmart. <laughs> After like, okay, we have literally attempted to collab, I think at least like four times. Like she literally texted me last minute and was like, I'm in New York. Do you want to come here and make a video? And I said, sure. And I found out I was coming to New York like two days ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, this is last, you know, short notice, but can you come to New York? And, and here like, we yeah. are doing a mukbang. So before we go any further, I just want to make sure that I say that I will be coming to Chicago. All the details will be on the screen right here. It's a live event. Come say hi. Come hang out with me. I'm so excited. Please come. I cannot wait to go to Chicago. <laughs> please, please come. Please, please show please up. Please come to my meetup. <laughs> the link to tickets will be in the description, and I cannot wait to see you in Chicago. Amazing. Your um, mind? <laughs> your mind. <laughs> your mind. <laughs> Let me stop and do a promo right now. <laughs> So I thought it'd be really interesting because Calvin is my first trans male friend yeah. ever. Really? Yeah, I've like known trans guys in my life, but I'd never really had one as a friend. Oh. I thought it'd be cool to talk about sort of the differences between transitioning from female to male and male to female, sort of, you know, there's just a lot of stuff I don't know. Like yeah. you told me a few things today about being a trans guy and, and what it is, what it entails. And I'm like, I had no Yeah, we were idea. discussing some stuff earlier and a lot of it she didn't know or wasn't aware of. We have like a lot of the same beliefs on like trans trenders and non-binary yeah. and all those types of things. So I think this will be good. You told me the cost of female to male bottom surgery, genital surgery today. And I was blown away. Yeah. I had to tell him to stop talking cause I was like, this has to be on video. So what is the cost? So, like, FTM bottom surgery is way more complex than MTF. Like, they're both extremely complex and, like, very hard surgeries. But with FTM, you have to go through multiple surgeries, multiple stages. So I know somebody who went to the same surgeon as me, who has the same insurance as me, and their bill without insurance would have been a million dollars. Like, wow. like not just, like, me saying a million, but, like, actually million. one million dollars. One million dollars. Which is so crazy because I feel like male to female surgeries are one cheaper and just easier there's only one procedure it looks it's not better three. too yeah if what's that have you what? seen it what it looks like you want to see seen what like what a female to male yeah i've never seen one there's a this is the guy who went to the same surgeon that i'm going to that's what it looks like right there it looks whoa like, but, it looks real yeah a lot of people actually don't know this um, about like FTM surgery, wow. they see like pictures on like general internet and it looks really bad. I feel like hormones are easier yes. for trans guys. I feel like testosterone, which is what trans guys take instead of estrogen, which we, we inject take, it. You right? Hear that? Yeah. Right? And I feel like you guys, it's a lot more powerful. Yeah. Like it takes a more of a physical change easier in a quicker amount of time. Yeah. Like when I started T, my voice was changing in the first like two months, like probably two to three months. Whereas estrogen for trans women does not change your voice at all. Yeah. Even like a voice feminization surgery, that's a thing, right? Yeah. I know I know someone who had that surgery and her voice is just permanently messed up from it. Is that Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you I mean like you can cut it out. But... Yeah. <clears throat> did you voice train? Like is that something you had to do? Or did no. you just always So you would have sounded like this as a boy? Yeah, I did. My voice never really dropped. <laughs> That's like gotta be some sort of genetic thing. Like think about it. Like you yeah. have a girl voice, like you really do. On to dating. So in the trans world. women worlds, we have what are called chasers. We have them too. Which I have a bit of an issue sometimes with that word because I feel like sometimes people spread it a little too easily and sometimes it's just yeah. like a person who happens to be okay with trans people. Not necessarily a chaser. Yeah. But so there are chasers as in guys who fetishize trans women and it's like a big thing for them. So are there chasers for trans men? Yes. So like, in my opinion, a chaser is someone who like exclusively and like creepily wants to like date and trans people. I don't know. I, what you were saying about like calling everyone a chaser just cause they're into trans people. That is very true because like there's plenty of straight people out there. Like for example, my girlfriend, like 
She's straight. She would date a cis guy or a trans guy, though. Like She's, she's only like, attracted to both. She's only attracted to guys, but it doesn't matter if, if they're the trans, trans or, or not. cis. And that, isn't that how Joey is, too? Yeah, that's how my fiancé Joey is. You know, he has dated nothing but biological women before me. Doesn't really care. I thought she said my fiancé you know, fiance has always been a biological woman. <laughs> Now's a good time to let everyone know that Joey is actually Joey is trans. a transgender man. People ask, people ask that because he has, like, long eyelashes and, like, pretty eyes. And people think that that may- means he was, like, born a girl. And I'm like, no. He's not born a girl. I think that, like, MTF chasers are way worse than FTM, though. You like, think? Like, the guys that fetishize, like, trans girls are just f***ing creepy. And they're it's usually, like- they're usually incels. You know, yeah, have you know, have you yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie, there have been some that show up to your meetups. Like you remember when we were at your meetup, the last one, and the chasers and came to kind, see me. Yeah, and they kind of like stick around at the end. So I often talk about how I've never really had any difficulty dating being trans. I think a lot of trans advocates talk about how it's very difficult, but I haven't ever had that experience. Let me just be real with y'all. If you act like a normal ass person, you won't have a problem dating. Like there's always someone out there that will want to date you. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, like, there's always someone for everyone. Whether you're... And, like, we live in a society where, like, really, people don't care that much if you're trans. As long as you act like a normal f***ing person. Yeah. Like, I've noticed that these people who complain about nobody wanting to date them, I can see... It's like, I can see a million reasons I, why. I can see a million other red flags why you might not be uh, finding anyone. Exactly. That might just be because we're cute. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I don't think so, but... You're adorable. Wow, I, I said that Blair's like my cool aunt that like is just like really fun, but then enables me to like be crazy. It's funny when you start getting older and then you have people calling you their aunt. <laughs> so- I don't know. That's really difficult because for a long time you were like the most hated trans YouTuber. Like, let's not like fret. <laughs> like, you really were the most hated. That's because at the time when I came on, I was the only one. You were like the saying only one. Like, yeah, and then. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if you didn't make the videos you did, I wouldn't have made the videos that I'm doing. Really? Yeah, definitely Why? not. Because you were like the. You really like set the sail or whatever of being like, I. Because like, I didn't really think anybody else had the same opinion as me. I remember the first time I ever saw one of your videos, I was literally a sophomore in high school. I love the fact that like you're on YouTube now doing what you're doing because it did suck being the only one. Like yeah. it did suck. Like all the slings and arrows came my way and I still get so much hate, but I feel like it's maybe a little and more now divided. It's like me and you. <laughs> the activists act like our opinion is so outrageous and it's whatever. Not. It's really not because most trans people, Agreed. actual trans people I've met, absolutely they f- agree but they won't say it that they don't like the trans genders that they don't like people that are saying that they are queer that they don't like people saying there's 97 genders you know it's you know? crazy there's so many famous trans people like famous youtubers famous trans people that are agree with us like oh yeah and they would never say it you would never you would guess. never even guess people who like have the same opinions as us because they might even front like they don't like but they yeah. do do you <clears> ever look at your instagram story and see like hella crazy people like watching your because instagram shows names of people who are watching your story Mm -hmm. and i see like people on there that would probably claim to never want to see my content but they're watching you can pull it out yeah like i see like i see no way yeah i've seen like just actual celebrities like (laughs) but it's people who aren't trans that they're the tell us what trans is. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm not gonna like play into the delusion that all this is like sane. Like yeah. it's really not. Like it's crazy, and it makes it makes people like me and Blair look like idiots. Like to be honest. Yeah. Like the trans movement. Like it's f- ridiculous. It's hard to sit by and see how people who <clears throat> aren't trans, you know, speak for us all the time, and people just accept it because they think like, okay, that person is trans too. You think of people like Alok. And like, <laughs> oh man, all these people who speak for us, autism, and gender girl, the autism, gender person. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely make sure you subscribe, like leave a comment. If you think I do not read every single comment, you're wrong. Cause I read every wow. single comment. I really do too. To really? be honest. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. I really read all of them. Make sure you guys also consider being a member to this channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to Calvin. I fully endorse Maybe. Calvin's channel. And if you're not subscribed, I'm to my- a little more dumb than Blair, and oh like, my kind God. of like a Walmart version, but like he's not. Make sure you guys check out the reaction video on Calvin's channel. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video and in Chicago.